all right guys kb32 here check it out so we're back at it man i tell you what i've been out of the uh scene now for about a month actually, actually i think it's been exactly four weeks since i've done my last video not something that i wanted to happen but uh, we had a lot of stuff going on with the family the holidays and then uh, my son had this big old playoff tournament down in Naples, Florida, which took up a lot of time. And I really wanted to dedicate that in. But now we are back at it. So I want to start off with this really cool deal from The Hill. Uh, this is by Amy Latour. This came out yesterday at 10, 12 a.m. Eastern Time. New Biden administration guidance closes guns, guns, loophole in federal rule. Okay, so... It's a never-ending battle, right? It's never going to end. These guys are always coming after everything and anything they could possibly do. They're hiring people that are anti-gun, so we're going to continue talking about this. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives issued an open letter to federal firearms dealers on Tuesday saying a rule that went into effect in August applies to certain partially completed pistol frames and parts kits subjecting them to regulation. The August rule from the Department of Justice subjected gun kits to regulation and provided regulatory definitions for terms such as complete weapon and readily. Tuesday's letter stated, and that was Tuesday, this is Thursday, so it was a couple days ago, letter stated that the definition of readily applies to each and every classification of a partially completed fire frame or receiver under this rule, whether sold alone or as a parts kit. Uh, therefore, even without any associated templates, jigs, molds, equipments, tools, and instruction guides and marketing materials, these partially completed pistol frames, inner frames, and also firearms, as defined as the Gun Control Act, and it's implementing regulations the rule requires the relevant firearm frames to have serial numbers and to be sold by licensed dealers who run background checks okay so what does this mean i don't know you guys tell me i'm sick and tired of it today's open letter is another important step in implementing the crucial this is quote now it's not me saying this public safety rule regarding the privately made firearms and ghost firearms atf director stephen dettelbach said in an atf news release ghost guns can kill like any other firearm well you know what that's what firearms are designed to do sir uh so they are treated as firearms under the law in october 14th democratic senators sent a letter to the justice department and the atf requesting the issue enforcement uh, guidance for the rule again the against august rule saying that the company selling near complete frames and receivers without tools or instructions for completion were considered their products outside the scope of the new rule According to the August rule, from the beginning of 2016 to the end of 2021, there were approximately 45,000 suspected PMS privately made firearms reported to ATF has been recovered in law enforcement from potential crime scenes, including 692 homicides. Huh. Out of all the homicides in the country, the only 692. At which, and if you think for one second, if they got rid of all these things or made them where they had to go ahead and get them taken care of and serialized, that would have affected that number at all. They are thinking with their nose being full of crack. Congress passed major gun legislation in 2022 as well. In June, the President Biden signed the Bipartisan Safer Community Act, which expanded background checks for people under 21 expressed the boyfriend loophole which provisions barring fire and possession i don't know what the hell that's got anything to do with this whole thing and they talk about red flags okay uh so what does this mean uh i think what they're trying to say is that in, if you even if it doesn't include the parts of the build or the molds or the drill and the patterns and everything else it's considered a firearm and must have that little deal with the called a serial number now i know i've have uh in the past received a couple of these things I don't know exactly what they did with them. Uh, I think I took them to a gun show and sold them. It was a long time ago. Anyway, that was the case. And that, uh, yeah, there you go. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. The new Biden administration guidance closes the ghost guns loophole in federal law rule whatever all right so yeah uh also i've got this rsv thing going on uh respiratory sickness thing i'm gonna be doing an upcoming video on the guys over there arms list you see i y'all seen where i've worn these hats a lot this hat was uh given to me by the guys over at arms list what a great bunch of people mark john uh, a couple years ago i was able i was invited to their facility in Jeanette, pennsylvania to participate in a build party 
which I was able to take a crowd of people and show them the ins and outs and the little hacks and able to uh, build their perfect AR-15 of their dreams. So with that being said, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Don't forget, we're going to start heavy, heart and heavy on the campsite down below. Uh, the big deals are coming here pretty soon for New Year's. And there, I tell you what, ammo right now, you can buy 1,000 rounds, 115 grain for like 279 So with that being said, y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.